this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver! And oh, I got pumpkin pie being thrown at me. I know who must be doing that. Good morning to you as well, Squishy. Are you going to go and try and have a fly off the uh, off the balcony? And okay, that was more of a flop rather than a, a fly. Not bad, nonetheless, though. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I am also going to be joined by Polly Reindeer this morning, and Polly is very excited, and that's because we are playing a mini game all episode today, and I am very excited because I am about to eat my morning cake. <gasps> Ah, and a very tasty one it was as well. All right then, Barnaby, let's go and get you to the the doghouse, and I am going to go and rush over to the uh, to the love garden. And I say rush to the love garden. Excuse me, Polly, I'm trying to go quickly today. I do not uh, want to run out of time to play our games today. All right then, off to the love garden, where I always add either someone or some people uh, to the love garden. And today I am adding two people to the love garden, and they are Sammy and Lance. And the reason I'm adding them is because they sent me these pictures of them having a battle between me and an Enderman. And you can see they made costumes and weapons and all sorts of Minecraft blocks, and I'm happy to say uh, that I won the battle. <laughs> so I wanted to say thank you so much for sending me the uh, the pictures, and welcome to my uh, love garden. Right then, let's go and get you to the, uh, the doghouse, Barnaby, and then we are all going to go and head to the Funland, where we are going to be having a brick-breaking tournament, and we're going to see who's the best brick-breaker and who's the best stone-maker. And I'm really uh, looking forward to playing this game, and I'm first going to choose uh, which dog is going to be joining us and spectating and I'm going to be joined by um w w William what what are you doing Polly Squishy why why are you sliding the dogs we can't be joined by all of the dogs today let me try and slide some of these back no no stop trying to take all of the dogs with us what are you what are you doing Barnaby don't you join in as well we cannot be joined by all of the dogs that would be chaos what are what are they doing they keep doing this actually recently don't they they keep kind of going into a strange trance and heading to my dog house this is um a little bit weird guys let's Let's try and wake them up, shall we? Oh, I know what worked before. Squishy, I got pumpkin pie. Do you want the pumpkin pie? Nope, even that's not working. It's actually getting a little bit worrying. Why Why are they just coming here and sliding the dogs around like this? This is very peculiar. Hmm, actually, before we play the game then, let's try and work out what's going on around here. No, oh, no, looks, one of the, the dogs has got outside here. Here's Cory. Let's try and get Cory back inside and let's find out what's going on. This is a little bit strange. And whenever something strange is going on in my lovely world, there's normally two people behind it. And that is, of course, Hit the Target and Viva Dash. So I don't know if they're involved, but let's go and check the castle just in case. And oh, wait a minute. What's that? Look on the top of the lighthouse. There's there's a thing. There's a, a column or something on the top of the lighthouse. And I definitely didn't build that. There is definitely something weird going al uh, along in my lovely world here. And I have no idea who's behind it. But I definitely suspect hit the target and Viva Dash. So let's, let's try and be very careful then. Let's keep an eye out. So I head to the lighthouse. And then I'll head over there to the castle. I can't see them anywhere. Everything seems to be pretty normal. Let's go inside here. And oh, wait a minute. Oh, the paintings have gone off the the walls. This is uh, supposed to be an art gallery and there used to be paintings on all of the walls here and all of the torches have gone as well. Right, let's be careful then. I think I can hear some googlies because it's so dark in here. Yep, I knew it. I knew there were going to be some googlies around here. I should be okay uh, with my super powerful sword, but let's try and be careful uh, nonetheless. And let's try and investigate uh, whatever was going on at the uh, the top of the lighthouse. There was definitely something new here. And oh, what's this? There's there's a machine. There's a brainwave transmitter. What's that? And what does this say down here? William Beaver. And over here it says Squishy Duck. And on this side it says Polly Reindeer. <gasps> you don't think that Hit the Target and Beaver Dash have been using this machine to try and control their minds. So that's why they were moving the dogs. Maybe they were trying to make it so they stole the dogs for them. Right, let's try and switch this off. If I switch these levers up, hopefully it's going to stop them from being mind controlled. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I have no idea how this machine works. And let's see if I can turn the whole thing off. I think this lever here. There we go. I think I should have hopefully turned it off. So let's get back uh, as fast as I can. I do have some ender pearls on me. So if I use these to get down, I should be able to get back to my Minecraft helpers really quick. And uh, hopefully uh, they're not going to be having their minds controlled anymore. Let's go and uh, uh, check back and uh, see if they're doing okay. I think they might be out of the uh, the trance now. I think they're looking uh, okay. Squishy, Polly Reindeer, William Beaver, are you okay now? Are you are you all feeling all right? Oh, that's good. I think you are being mind controlled. There's 
There's a machine that hit the target and Beaver Dash might have built on the, the lighthouse and I think they were controlling your brains. Polly, do you want to come and check it out with me? Seeing as you're the, the redstone expert, we can go and try and investigate it. And Squashy and William Beaver, I want you to keep my dogs safe. Will you be able to guard them? Actually, tell you what, if you go and try and spy on hit the target and Beaver Dash and make sure that they aren't able to get to the, the dog house uh, to make sure that they're all kept safe. Okay then, Polly, shall we go and head to the, uh, the lighthouse now then? And uh, if you try and look at this uh, machine, uh, hopefully you can try and work out what it is and uh, what uh, hit the target and Beaver Dash's plans are. So uh, while Squashy and William Beaver uh, go and head over to the, the castle, uh, me and Polly uh, can go and head up the uh, the lighthouse and uh, we can try and work out uh, what has been going on around here then. Because for a while, I keep seeing that my Minecraft helpers have been acting a little bit strangely and I thought they were just being silly and playing around, but maybe there's, there's something else. But we want to be careful here, Polly. You stay behind me. It's very dark in here. And last time, yep, uh, looks like this time as well, there are a lot of googlies in here. So let's go and uh, try and clear all of them out. And then we can go and get to the, uh, the top of the the machine and oh no there's another zombie around here i do want to be careful here there does seem to be uh, a lot more googlies there than last time and oh no a creeper a creeper a creeper a creeper there we go i was able to, to take out the creeper make sure you stay safely behind me polly i do not want you to get attacked and oh no oh no there's a couple skeletons here there's a couple skeletons let's go and uh, try and take them out and i think we're almost uh, at the uh, the top of the the lighthouse oh no, no there's one more spider stay back polly stay back it's okay i can deal with it oh i'm getting really hurt here actually i'm gonna have to definitely uh, have something to, to eat but here here we go, look, here's the here's the brainwave transmitter, Polly. Do you want to have a, a look at it and uh, see if you can try and work out uh, what this thing is and maybe uh, try and see uh, what hit the target and Viva Dash have been trying to do it? Do you understand it? You do. Okay, do you think you could maybe like alter it or change it? Maybe we could change it so we can control hit the target and Viva Dash's brains, you know, because they were trying to control our minds. If we can somehow alter it and change it so we're controlling their minds, then they might head to the, the doghouse and we might might be able to, to trap them. I think that's a pretty good idea. So hopefully uh, Polly can use her magic. And uh, there we go. You can see she's changing the, the signs around now. Uh, so this one uh, says Viva Dash. So hopefully... If she's able to understand how this machine works, uh, she's going to be able to, to alter it somehow uh, so we can control their minds rather than them trying to control ours. It was such a sneaky plan. Rather than trying to steal the dogs themselves, they used my helpers to try and steal them for them because I wouldn't have suspected my helpers. It was such a clever plan, but luckily uh, we were able to catch them. And what does this say? There we go. There's hit the target. So now uh, I guess Polly's trying to, to alter it and switch it and kind of change it around. Uh, so then that way uh, we can use it to try and control them and oh there we go look she pulled down viva dash's lever and then hit the targets one so i guess uh, we just now need to try and switch it on and oh no i think she needs to alter it a bit more i think she's hacking into the machine so we can use it to try and control their minds and there we go it's now switched back on so hopefully if that worked hit the target and viva dash uh, should be having their minds controlled and they'll be doing uh, what my helpers were doing and that will be heading uh, to the uh, the dog house so i guess uh, we need to go and try and trap them somehow so they shouldn't uh, attack us uh, when they're having their mind controlled. So we should be safe. Uh, we, want, we want to be careful and try and, uh, and catch them. And oh, look, there they are. I can see them. Look, they're heading straight to the uh, the doghouse. I can't see uh, whether they're having their minds controlled from here. But let's go and uh, try and make sure we get to the uh, the doghouse before they do. Because I can't see uh, William Beaver or Squashy either. Uh, so we're not going to be able to, to outnumber them. So let's go and uh, charge down here as fast as we can. Hopefully there's going to be no more googlies in here so we can get back to the, uh, the doghouse uh, as fast as we can. And then we need to find some way to some way to trap them i don't know i don't know what we could do we need to somehow try and block them off uh, so of course they're not uh, going to be able to to get the uh, the dogs uh, out of the uh, the dog house let's go and head out here and are they anywhere around here I don't think I can see them. Oh, I think there's one over in the, the distance over there, but that's only one of them. Where? Where's the other one? And oh, look, there's Viva Dash. Viva Dash is right here. And look, she's in a trance. It worked. <laughs> Polly's hacking worked. She was able to change the brainwave transmitter, so now it's controlling their minds instead of ours. Right then, let's try and get to the uh, the doghouse, and I can try and find some way of trapping them. I need to work out what I want to do with them. I guess if we try and put them into prison somehow and try and trap them, uh, so then that way uh, they won't be able to do anything 
any more evil plans and uh, try and steal my dogs anymore. So if this is working, Beaver Dash should uh, head straight into the uh, the doghouse. And it looks like that is exactly uh, what she is doing. Polly did it perfectly. <laughs> uh, right then, uh, let's try and uh, find some way to trap them off. I guess we could dig a pit. If we dig a pit here, when they try and get the, the dogs out, uh, then they're going to go and just fall into this pit here. But I wonder, why did they build the machine on the top of the, the lighthouse? Why would they need to build it that high up? I guess it might have better range if it's on the, the top of the, the lighthouse. That might be uh, what it is. So let's go and uh, try and dig this uh, this pit down here. And if we dig down a little bit lower, no, oh, this hit the target. This hit the target. He was trying to get to the doghouse and he got trapped. <laughs> I don't think he knows what to do now. He's just trying to get to the, the doghouse, uh, but he can't work out how to get out of this pit. So if we dig it down one further, and oh, there's Viva Dash as well. So let's try and dig this down a little bit further. And then that way we could build over the, the top and trap them in. And then we can try and work out uh, what we want to, to do with them. Uh, we should be safe. As long as they uh, they stay in this trance state, uh, we should be okay. I don't think uh, they're going to, to be able to, to trap us. So if I throw you some of this cobblestone, Polly, uh, if you go and build this over the, the top, and I'll keep an eye on them and uh, make sure uh, that nothing goes wrong. So here we go. We can just build a roof uh, over the uh, the top, and then they should be uh, trapped inside of this pit. And oh, oh, they started moving. Oh no, I don't think they're in the trance anymore. Oh no, no, be careful, Polly. No, be careful. They've come out of the, the trance. Oh, maybe because it's night time. Do you think the machine is powered by the sun? It might be solar powered. Oh no, this is awful. What can I do? What can I do? Polly's trapped down there in the pit. I don't want to attack them. I think if I attack them, they're going to shoot Polly. Right, I want to be very careful here. I do not want Polly to get hurt, but I'm going to have to do something. I can't just stand here and watch while they try and steal my dogs and attack my Minecraft helpers, but what can I do? Look, Beaver Dash has her harming potion and hit the target has his bow and arrow. What can I do to try and take them out without getting anyone else hurt at the same time? I mean, I could use my bow and arrow, but I'm just so scared that if I shoot them, then they're going to attack Polly and I just don't want Polly to get hurt. I don't know what to do. I need William Beaver and Squashy, but I don't know where they've got to. If we were all here together, we could outnumber them and chase them away, but I don't know what to do by myself. I don't have any ideas and... Oh. Actually, uh, Polly Reindeer, if they try and kidnap you, you won't hurt them too much, will you? You see, I know they seem evil, but they don't know about your most powerful moves. They don't know that Polly is secretly a reindeer battle master. And they don't know that Polly can actually smash ice with her antlers and that she has uh, a powerful move called the, the Snowballs of Doom, where she throws snowballs faster than the speed of sound. And if they hit anyone then they go flying and it's really powerful and it hurts so much and oh no the snowballs of doom Polly reindeer is using the snowballs of doom you better run away as fast as you can don't get hit by the snowballs of doom no polly don't do it it's not worth it no <laughs> polly reindeer i can't believe they fell for that <laughs> i can't believe they fell for your snowballs of doom they are so silly <laughs> i convinced them that you're a battle warrior even though i I know you're so peaceful you wouldn't hurt a fly. I can't believe they fell for that. We did it. We chased them away. Right. Let's try and clean up this horrible mess uh, at the uh, the front of the uh, the doghouse. And let's go and uh, just make sure that all of my doggies are okay. I can't believe we did that. They had such a smart plan by trying to use my Minecraft helpers to steal the dogs so they didn't have to do it themselves. But luckily, we were smarter. And look, all of my dogs are happy and healthy. <laughs> and uh, everyone uh, is okay. So luckily, uh, it all turned out okay and I can't believe that I was able to trick them uh, into thinking that Polly Reindeer was a reindeer battle master. <laughs> and uh, luckily now, uh, with Polly Reindeer around, I reckon they are both going to think twice about attacking again anytime soon. I think we were able to foil their plan and I don't know what they're going to do next, but whatever it is, we are going to be ready for them. But oh, I've just realised, Polly, Squashy and William Beaver, we don't know where they are. They went off to check on the castle. We should go and see and make sure they're okay. Okay, nope, sorry, Duncan. I guess I didn't make you stand up. Let's go and see where they are. They're gonna be, oh, squishy. <laughs> you scared me then, charging around the, the corner. Is William Beaver out here as well? Oh, William Beaver's here. And oh, it looks like they've got a few arrows. Maybe they've been attacked by uh, some googlies on the way. Are you are you both okay, though? You're, you're not hurt, though, are you? You're both feeling uh, okay uh, after checking on Hit the Target and Beaver Dash. Okay, that's good then. So basically, what happened was we were able to trick them into thinking that Polly is a battle master and she has the snowballs of doom. <laughs> 
And oh no, there we go, she's using them now. Everyone run for your lives. Oh no, I was only joking, dogs. I was only joking, dogs. Oh no, don't attack Polly. She's the person who just saved you. <laughs> she doesn't really have snowballs of doom. They're just normal snowballs. We just said that to trick, hit the target, and Viva Dash. Right, let's go and sit down all of my dogs, shall we? <laughs> Before they go and try and attack Polly again. Come on, Duncan. Come on, Flippy. Everyone, go and sit down. You should be thanking Polly, not attacking her. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like, though, that we were all together able to save the day and keep my entire lovely world, all of my dogs, uh, safe for uh, a little while, uh, at least anyway. <laughs> but sadly, we have just about uh, run out of time in this episode here. As always, there'll be a link in the description to the next episode once it's online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!